13. Got that, Sarah? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mass is 406. Carapace length, 132. Width, 109. Shell height, 56. Last drawn length, 99. Last Anal tail, 29. Okay, for physical exam, we we'll start at the front, look at the nose, then closest to the front. You can see his nostrils are a little bit asymmetrical. We're going to look at both eyes and make sure that they're bright and clear. No swelling or discharge. We're going to look inside the mouth. Come on, buddy. There we go. Make sure the oral cavity looks pretty normal, which it does in this guy. That pink thing is a lure they use to catch prey items, and they wiggle it around to make it look like a worm. We're gonna look at the front feet. Make sure they've got all the toes, no wounds, lumps, bumps, or anything like that. Those look pretty normal. We'll look at the bottom shell, the plastron, and make sure that they've got all their keratin. He's missing a little bit of keratin on the bridges of his shell, so we'll make a note of that. We're gonna look at the back feet for lumps, bumps, or wounds. And make sure he's got all his toes. Those look great. We're gonna look at the tail. He's missing just the tip of his tail. And then we're gonna look at the uh, cloaca, which is the outdoor on a turtle, which looks pretty normal. And then finally, we'll look at the top shell for the carapace. We'll feel for any abnormalities, any soft spots. We'll make some notes that he's got some flaking of the keratin on the carapace. And he has too many of these, which are called vertebral scoots. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, and he should only have five. So we'll make a note that he has a, an extra vertebral scoot. Certain pathogens are usually respiratory, and then other ones can be GI, which is why we take swabs from both ends. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. So take a look what you've done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. Hey, now we got problems. The complete blood count is broken down and analyzed with different tests. The first test we run is the hematocrit, which measures the amount of space the red blood cells take up in the blood. For example, if you get a measurement of 38, that means that the red blood cells take up 38% of the total blood volume. setting up what's called leukopets so that we can read them under the hemocytometer under the microscope. Leukopets are designed around these stains that stain eosinophils and heterophils of a reptile blood of reptile white blood cells. So we stain the blood using the, the stain, the phloxine stain. It sits in here for 10 minutes and then we place the stain on these hemocytometers as you can see here. We let that sit so that it can settle, and then we can read the grid that is made up underneath these mirrors. And then we can know how many heterophils and eosinophils. And then Ethan, who's standing right next to the camera, gets to read all of these blood cells and blood smears 
in order to figure out what the total white cell count is. Ethan, are you excited? I'm very excited.